Hi, welcome, bienvenidos. It's your girl Yessi, and I'm back with another video. For today's last video of 12 Days of Tutorials, I've decided I'm going to use Tati Beauty's Volume 1 palette. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I've been thinking about this long and hard. Um, and at first I'm thinking I'm going to do something classic, you know, something light on the eyes and a bold uh, lip a bold red lip I should say but I feel like I've done that one too many times maybe um, for different occasions and I feel everyone does it as well and yeah I want to do something different this time around um, I am filming on the actual 24th um, it is currently 3 in the morning but I, I do want to get my last video up and also I have so many things to do before my kids get up and yeah I'm getting my day started early so yeah if you're interested in watching what I come up with then just keep on watching alrighty amigas besties so um, I've decided I'm gonna use the Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette um, and I am still gonna go uh, very light on the eyes but I'm not gonna go for the brown orangey eye look um, I'm kind of drawn to the these two uh, rows right here the pinky one and of course the vanilla shade so it's gonna be very light on the eyes of course I'm gonna use the glitter and then I'm gonna do a nude lip so why don't we just jump in so I'm gonna grab my big jumbo size uh, shader brush and I'm gonna go into aura matte which is this shade right here and I'm gonna use that to set my whole lid. Actually, oh my God, wow. This is how you know I'm not fully awake. <laughs> so per usual, I have everything, I have my eyebrows done, okay? So I used nothing new. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dual Powder, both in ebony. I outline with the Brow Wiz and I fill in with the Dual Powder. Then, I use MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre to carve out the bottom of the lid, to carve out the bottom of my eyebrow, and then prime the lids. So that's all I have going on so far. And now I'm gonna jump into the eyeshadow palette. So again, I'm gonna go into Aura Matte, and I'm gonna use that shade basically on the brow bone all the way down to the lid even though I set even though I lightly set my uh, lids with um, my translucent powder what have I here now I'm gonna go in with a blending brush I'm gonna go into let's see what is this Morphe R37 is just your typical blending brush and I think I'm going to go into, let's see, I'm going to go into Soothe Matte, actually, yeah, which is this nice soft brown and I'm going to use that as a transition before I go into the pink, so very lightly, Ooh very pigmented alrighty so this is what that shade looks like now I'm gonna dip into the shade um, poet in matte and I'm gonna just dab my actually I'm gonna go in with another brush I'm gonna go in with the 
is this this is the luxie 227 blending brush and i'm just gonna dab into um poet in matte and i'm gonna lightly lightly because the other brown shade was very pigmented and i'm just gonna uh go into that shade and apply it in the outer part of the crease so like right here I'm not trying to do something very pigmented. I just want it to be very nice and ethereal. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush. And with no additional product, I'm just gonna go over this outer part right here just so it blends nicely into the pink. I'm actually going to grab a little bit of the shade. kind of want to go into Aura Sequin, which is this shade right here. And, up, and lightly apply that to the lid. I want to go with something else on the this part of the inner part of the lid. So when I go in with the shimmer, it will stick to it. It will make it pop even more. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a shader brush. I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use the Sigma Times Beauty Bird Dream Fluffy Shader. And I'm going to go into the shade Aura Sequin, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to apply that to the um, this part of the lid right here because I, I do want to bring some brightness in here and also um, I'm not trying to I'm trying to go for ethereal an ethereal eye look this shade is so beautiful it has little specks of I don't know if it's uh, shimmer but it's really pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with the Luxie 227 blending, and I'm just gonna blend whatever's on the brush into that um, Aura sequin shade so they can blend into each other nicely. Like you can see a nice gradient. Then I'm gonna go in with my blending brush to blend everything out. We're practically done with the look. Okay, now I'm gonna use a glitter glue because I'm gonna go in with that shade. Yeah, and I do really want it to last all day. Alrighty, so for a change, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Um, I got my pen right here. Like I said, I'm only gonna be adding just a tiny bit to the eyelid all right so now I'm gonna go in with my finger and I think I'm gonna go into this aura glitter which is this shade right here wow that is stunning wow that is really stunning Alrighty. Wow, that is so beautiful. So beautiful. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go back in with the um, Luxie 227. And I'm just, with no additional product, I'm really just gonna take whatever's on the brush and blend it into the that glitter shade just so it can blend nicely. And of course, doing it very softly because you don't want that glitter to go anywhere else. And it's on the brush. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, now I'm going to go into the blending brush with that um, Soothe color. And I'm just going to blend that in the crease.
Alrighty. So this is the look right here. Um, I'm not trying to go any more um, intense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off camera, do liner, lashes, foundation, and then I'll come back and show you the final result. So stay tuned. And I'm back. So this is the final look. Um, I put my hair down. I added some nice like natural lashes I used the Sephora irresistible false lash and I think they look perfect with this eye look it gives me that cat eye effect a very flirty um, if you will um, and then with the pink it's, it's so pretty and girly I love it <laughs> so yeah uh, this is the last uh, video for 12 days of tutorial i really hope you enjoyed all of them there was a lot of love that went into every single um look that i did i also planned them out to make sure i bought a variety of um looks and colors and yeah um i really hope you enjoyed them all um i do have another video going up sometime next week it's trying new makeup so in this band of 12 days of tutorial i was able to um get some new makeup that i am dying to show you all so stay tuned for that video and yeah i wish you all a very happy and merry christmas i hope you all have a healthy safe uh day with your family friends um and yeah uh what can i say <laughs> happy holidays so yeah uh thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a great day wherever you are and as always i'll catch you on the next one